Hey, what is up? Moon here from flipmoments.com and today we're going to take a look at a few different ways you can pose your character inside of ZBrush. Um, in my case, it's a ballerina with a sweater and a sock. Um, <laughs> but it could be whatever. Uh, there, we're going to take a look at three different ways. So the first one is going to be the transpose lines. Then we're going to take a look at um, recording an action and, and replaying that to multiple subtools. And finally, we're going to take a look at transpose master. So first off, transpose lines. Um, transpose lines can be used with move, scale, and rotate. Um, the one we're going to use is the rotate one, uh, which is just you get that up by hitting R. And the way you use it is with any other, like with any other transpose line, you just hold down um, control or command, depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC. And then you just drag out where you want the mask to be. So let's say you want to bend her knee, just drag out the mask. And a cool feature um, of the masks in ZBrush is that you can harden them and soften them really easily. So if you hold down Control or Command, you can soften the mask. And if you um, do that with Alt as well, so Control or Command plus Alt, then you harden your edges. This is just really nice for your transition. Um, and after that, I, uh, I like to sort of reposition the, the transpose line. So I just usually drag it from from one end to the other like this, and this is the angle that I want. And then we just sort of bend the leg like that. So that's really sweet. And the next one you'll find under the strokes menu. So go to strokes and just press this little thing to dock it. And under inventory, there's a record option. Now be careful with the record option because it will record everything, like even sort of rotating around your canvas. So we're just gonna Strip this sweater off of her for now and give her this sweet bracelet on. So we want to apply this action just to like see the arm and the bracelet. So um, much like before, it's just um, use the transpose line and drag out where you want it to be, sort of here. And from here, we're going to record what we're doing and then replay that action onto the bracelet. So. Um, only doing this, you press record, rotate, and press record again. And now you can see it's added a stroke. So it says one stroke because we only did one action. And so you can switch to your other subtool by holding down Alt and then just pressing on it like that. Then you say replay all, and it snaps to the transpose line. Uh, let's just undo that. And the last one is transpose master. Transpose master is a lot more powerful. Um, and can be used if you have hundreds, thousands of subtools. So it's really useful for, for really advanced sort of characters with a lot of stuff on them, or even simple things. It really depends on what you, on your, t on like what you're into, I guess. So go to Z plugin and stuck it over here and you'll find Transpose Master. And Transpose Master is really simple to use. Um, no. So let's just get our sweater back here and so what Transpose Master does is, if you press the T Pose Mesh, it's gonna it's gonna drop all the visible subtools into one subtool, and this way you can very easily sort of manipulate and and pose stuff. And then after that, the T Pose to Subtool button will apply those changes to like individual subtools. So let me show how this works. So simply press the T Pose Mesh. It's gonna look at the visible subtools like that. Now, unlike the other options, you can't just use the transpose lines because it's only going to work on one subtool at a time. So what you'll have to do is actually just go in and mask it out. So let's just drag out like a rectangular mask. Oh, got a bit of a toe there. Like that. And then just soften the selection and invert the mask. You can invert the mask by just tapping on the canvas while holding command or control. And again, just drag out the transpose line, break her arm. Undo that, or not undo that, just deselect it. So like that. Then you simply press the T post the subtool button. There we go. It's now wonderfully posed your character. Yeah, so that's really it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time.